Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today, we take you on a musical visit to Prague with music from the ornate St. Jakob Church. Prague is a unique city. There is a great contrast in the city from the bustle of the new town with its towering high rises to the silhouette of the historic St. Vitus Church in the old town. Prague is a city of history, romance, art, architecture, and of course, music. Prague Castle, the imposing landmark of the capital, is the symbol of the country, a stone book reaching back over 11 centuries to the beginnings of the early feudal Czech state and an inexhaustible treasure house of architecture and art. From the very beginning, the destiny of the country and the intricate fabric of international relations have been reflected here.
The St. Jacob's Church of Prague is one of the finest specimens of Baroque architecture in the city. Situated directly behind the Tin Church on the Old Town Square, the St. Jacob's Church houses one of the great organs of Prague. With over 100 stops, four manuals, and over seven seconds reverberation time, the church is a favorite for concerts of both organ and orchestra.
Father Xavier Brixey was born on January 2nd, 1732 in Prague. He was organist and conductor of several churches in Prague and a most industrious composer. He is by right considered as Mozart's predecessor. His instrumental compositions, above all the organ and cembalo concertos, possess already a completely Mozart-like character. We hear now his concerto in F major for organ and orchestra.
St. Vitus Cathedral remains today the most outstanding component of the famous Panorama of Prague Castle. Although former sanctuaries found on this site date back to the 10th century, construction on the present sanctuary began in 1344 and has continued in stages, the last being the completion of the Western Towers in 1929. The beauty of the windows, mosaic scenes, statues and exterior towers pointing heavenward are a reminder of the deep and lasting faith of the citizens of Prague and all who have worshipped here. In the Old Town Square, the pride of the Old Town is the late Gothic horloge or clock on the southern side of the town hall, which was built at the end of the 15th century. After severe damage during World War II, new figures were carved and a new calendar face was painted.
thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bache and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <laughs>